Good morning. It's Tuesday, July 18th, 2023. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Have You Faith in Christ? And our scripture is Jude. May God give you more and more mercy, peace, and love. Dear friends, I had been eagerly planning to write to you about the salvation we all share, but now I find that I must write about something else, urging you to defend the faith that God has entrusted once for all time to his holy people. I say this because some ungodly people have wormed their way into your churches, saying that God's marvelous grace allows us to live immoral lives. The condemnation of such people was recorded long ago, for they have denied our only Master and Lord, Jesus Christ. John Wesley began his list of 22 questions to those who would be his preachers in colonial America with this one, Have you faith in Christ? The point is derived from the first century quote-unquote fathers of Christ's church that without a resounding yes answer to that question, pulpit or pew is neither for you. Without your total allegiance to Jesus Christ as Lord and Master, you do not belong to him. Apostle Paul backed that up in his letter to the believers at Rome, chapter 8, verse 9. Remember that those who do not have the Spirit of Christ living in them do not belong to him at all. Wisely, John Wesley put the Trinitarian doctrine at the head of what Methodists were to understand and embrace. It still stands after more than two and a half centuries, most recently held, at least for the time being, in the United Methodist Book of Discipline as Article No. 1. Quote, Of faith in the Holy Trinity there is but one living and true God, everlasting, without body or parts, of infinite wisdom and goodness, the maker and preserver of all things, both visible and invisible. And in unity of this Godhead, there are three persons of one substance, power, and eternity, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. UMC Bishop Mike Lowry wrote about what Jude, the brother of Jesus, said, comparing first century apostates with what's going on today. And I quote, Disguised in the form of pluralism and tolerance, we have embraced doctrinal indifference. With such an embrace has come the destructive chaos of cheap grace turned into unrestrained immorality, which denies our only Master and Lord, Jesus Christ. Jude 3. Our modern failure in much of the church to hold to the historical theological core of the Christian faith erodes our very ability to speak to the moral anarchy of our times. For far too many, Christian theological and ethical commitments have been reduced to matters of opinion and political advocacy. It is past time to reclaim the heart of the gospel against the raging hedonism and selfishness of our age. End of quote. Pluralism and tolerance, those are nice ways of saying anything goes. But that does not square with the tone, ethics, and commandments of the entire canon of Holy Scripture. And may we be reminded that the tired, banal excuse which calls Old Testament law passé in favor of the New Testament love of Jesus is merely an excuse. It's a license to do whatever I want. It is nothing less than the downward spiral of cheap grace. Christ did not die so we can go on sinning and feel good, even proud, about sinning. He died to give us victory over our urge to sin. Romans chapter 6, verse 6, Paul says, We know that our old sinful selves were crucified with Christ so that sin might lose its power in our lives. We are no longer slaves to sin. For you today, our final word today is from Jesus' brother Jude, a doxology of praise to the one who gives us this power. 
Now all glory to God who is able to keep you from falling away and will bring you with great joy into his glorious presence without a single fault. All glory to him who alone is God, our Savior through Jesus Christ our Lord. All glory, majesty, power, and authority are his before all time and in the present and beyond all time. Amen. The question nearly begs itself. Have you faith in Christ? You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.